Black Hills is ours. That's where our stories began. That is our Jerusalem. My name is Simon Moya Smith. I am a citizen of the Oglala Lakota Nation, and I'm also Chicano. I'd ask whether or not you think I will someday be on Mount Rushmore, but... Mount Rushmore, I would believe for the United States as a celebration of their presidents. I don't see it that way. It's a desecration of our sacred site. That's where our creation story began. And it is, uh, unfortunately, uh, a tourist trap. But when you go there, people don't know the real history of it. And now they have four white guys right carved right into the, the mountain. One of them being uh, Abraham Lincoln, who still holds the record for, you know, hanging the most indigenous people in a single day. And as calls for removal grow louder, our next guest vows to protect one of the most iconic monuments in the world. Uh, the more we focus on the flaws of these men that are on our mountain, uh, the less likely we are to recognize the virtues. It's not as easy to, to tear down, of course, Mount Rushmore as it is, it is to tear down a statue to Robert E. Lee or Christopher Columbus. But I hope people begin to understand that these were racist white men. And you're going to have your first big fireworks display at Mount Rushmore. What can burn? It's stone. You know, it's stone. It's crap. It's still our land. He's the latest white man to come into our territory. Natives are, are purposefully canceled out of the conversation because you can't be the greatest nation in the world if you're guilty of a genocide. Right? What soapbox can you stand on? We're the smallest racial minority in our ancestral land. Think of that. Police brutality affects indigenous people because we're, we're such a small population, but we're up there with, with the black community. These are the numbers and these are the facts that I hope people will, will look into, not just about the desecration of our sites, but the fact that we want our land back and you know police brutality in Indian country. Indigenous women are 2.5 times more likely to be sexually assaulted than women of any other demographic, right? So these are things that we hope people will, will learn and research and share with others. We don't want it to be just like a short conversation about what is Mount Rushmore, what does the Black Hills mean to indigenous people, and then they move on.